Lesson 8 is about multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 and ordering decimal numbers. The first part of this lesson is on multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. So powers of 10, those are like 10, 100, 1000, or 10, 10 times 10, 10 times 10 times 10. That's what they mean by powers of 10. You just keep multiplying 10 a certain number of times over and over. And you probably already know this or have figured it out from our previous lessons. When you multiply by a power of 10, you're adding zeros on to that number. When you divide by a power of 10, you're subtracting out zeros or you're moving the decimal place over to the left. For example, look at the first practice problem we have here. 83,255 times 1,000. Well, you would just write down 8, 3, 2, 5, Five, and multiplying that by a thousand is like adding three more places on there. We've talked about that before. Each place is ten or a factor of ten more than the previous one or a power of ten. We can use that word power now. We can say it's a power of ten more than the previous place. So if we multiply by a thousand we're basically moving that number over three places and now we have a comma here and a comma here. We end up with 83,255,000. Now if we divide by 1,000, we're basically moving the decimal place to the left. And so now we would have 83, for practice problem B, we'd have 83.255. That would be our answer for B. And just think about that. We divided by 1,000. So that means the decimal point, it was originally here. We didn't write it, but we know that it was started there. One, two, three. We move over to the left three when we divide by a thousand. So why don't you do C and D, see if you can figure those out on your own. Pause the CD and try to figure those out on your own. And so in practice problem C, we'd say six, one, five. 2, 3, 5. We don't worry about the commas right now. We add four more zeros on the end. That's the same thing as multiplying by 10,000. Now we go back and put our commas in. 6,152,350,000 is what that becomes. Now in D, we divide by 10,000. And so that decimal place moves to the left 4. And we would end up with 61.5 five. So when you multiply by a power of 10, the decimal point moves to the right. When you divide by a power of 10, the decimal point moves to the left. Try to remember that and hopefully that makes sense based on what we've been doing in the previous lessons. Now of course anytime you do multiply by a power of 10, you can do your multiplication out to help you make sure that you're doing it right. This is basically just a shortcut method and as long as you understand what happens when you multiply and divide by powers of 10, this is a good thing to go ahead and use because it just simplifies the amount of work that you have to do to solve a problem. The last part of this lesson is on ordering decimal numbers and like in practice problem E, I want you to write those decimal numbers in order. You can use a number line to do this and that's always what you should do if you're confused about what to do when you're ordering numbers. Just make a number line and then look at the numbers and we have like 0 0.26, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.21 and we could make our number line based on the hundredths place and the tenths place. So let's just do like 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 22, 23, 24, 25 two six, two seven, two eight, and two nine. And let's just write down every other one. On a number line, numbers to the left of a certain number, those are always smaller. Numbers to the right of a given number, those are always greater. And now let's just go ahead and estimate some locations here. I'll use a different color pen to do this. You might want to do that as well. And 0.265, let's just locate that. That would be about right here. And I'll put 0.265 right above that. Then 0.231, that would be 
that would be right about 0.23 so I'll put a dot right there and say 0 0.231 0 0.244 that would be maybe right around in here somewhere so I'll put 0 0.244 and then 0 0.219 that would almost be 0 0.22 I'll put that right here and so now we see the order of those values and that's our answer the number line helped us a lot in figuring out where each number went which ones were smaller which ones were greater let's do another one this is a little more complicated but let's just think about it in our head and think about a number line think about these numbers here and we have 0.196 we know that's smaller than 0.28 5 and 0 0.587 but then we have 0 0.0063 just think about that that's 63 ten thousandths instead of 196 thousandths so that has to be smaller it's in the ten thousandths place 63 ten thousandths that would be much less than 196 thousandths and so we'll put 0 0.0063 first then the next thing if we were thinking of a number line would be 0 0.196 then 0.285 and then 0.587 would be last so that's our order of those decimal numbers there use a number line to help you order decimal numbers and if you ever get stuck on them and you're just not sure, that's the best thing to do is just write a number line down and just think about it that way. Once you get better at it, you can do them in your head or you can just think about a number line mentally and help you. that will help you line up your values in the correct order. Okay, well that's all for lesson 8.